That's our buddy Rambo enjoying the sun 70 degrees anyways moving on I want to point out some of the modifications they were done on my Corvette it's a 1984 uh, it's a resto mod meaning partially restored and a partially modified wherever its weaknesses were those were the modifications occurred so let me quickly walk you over to my vet. It's a in 84. I started from uh, the bottom of the car working from suspension. I took off the control arms, had them uh, sandblasted, put Bilstein shocks, as you can see, new bushings, and um, I didn't want a much of a crossfire setup. So I bought a an intake setup from an uh, 87 Trans Am. It's a mass airflow type setup. And um, so, anyways, I bought a SLP runners, bought a bigger fuel injectors, and uh, bought a better better uh, throttle body. Ported the stuff out, had it set up. Now, of course, had to change the entire wire harness. So I bought a painless wire harness. And I want to let you know it's not painless at all. Now, uh, since this is a modified setup, uh, the regular fuel lines will not hook up to the uh, to the intake, so I had to run a braided hose from the left side. If you can see, it's mounted to the top of the alternator bracket, and it goes right to the front of the fan. The power steering had to be changed from uh, from the standard to an 87. Some of the belt assemblies had to be changed. Uh, as you can see, the power steering on the 84 is on where the current alternator is uh, located. I also had to change, in addition to that, I had to change uh, the, uh, rebuild the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, uh, the headlight power motors, and uh, cleaned up the inside of the hood, and uh, put brand new BF Goodrich Grand Sport GT tires, and uh, you can't really see much of the rotors put bare Decela rotors, drilled and slotted rotors. And uh, this is basically it. Now, we still have a lot to go. I mean, still hooking up nitrous oxide. And so what I did was I stripped the entire car down all the way to the dashboard. I had the uh, dash cluster rebuilt. As you can see, the dash is apart because new gauges will be mounted on the right side, which will be nitrous gauge. Right? air fuel gauge as well as the transmission temperature as you can see the, all the carpeting is out because what you got we got to lay out the nitrous lines running from of course outside of the car but still it has to be mounted on the in the rear of the hatch so uh, this upholstery is completely gone gutted out and we're going to replace it with the new upholstery but um anyways let's uh let's uh fire the baby up just so you can see uh, of course a new um, exhaust was also hooked up in addition to it and uh, sounds pretty dangerous uh, I want to quickly kind of show you what the exhaust looks like put a new uh, exhaust on the back so I've got to get uh, headers probably going to go with the uh, Melrose headers because they are the proven ones